Activists marched to the Kansas State House this afternoon to protest on the anniversary of Roe versus Wade, the controversial Supreme Court decision that made abortions legal across the country. New at 6, KSMT News reporter James Ryan is live from the State House with more on what activists feel is the future for the law here in Kansas. James? Brooke, it's been 44 years since the Road versus Wade decision. But now, with new leadership in Washington, the hundreds that gathered here have new hope that that decision could be overturned. Everybody deserves a chance at life. Pro life activists marched from the Topeka Performing Arts Center to the Capitol Monday afternoon to protest the landmark abortion case, Roe versus Wade. And send revival. Hundreds took part in the march, many carrying signs like these, reading Choose Life or Pray to End Abortion. At the Capitol, Governor Sam Brownback spoke about the sanctity of life. Men and women of this state who know the sacredness of human life, all human life at all stages from conception until natural death. Topeka mother Janine Jesus Heinecker brought her five brain. children to the Capitol My for the life. march. I cannot be at a birth and not see the miracle that is there in that family, no matter what kind of struggles and difficulties. This comes only two days after hundreds gathered here in support of health care laws and a woman's right to choose. Despite the difference, Heinecker says it's important to listen. Opening the dialogue, not just saying no to abortion, because nobody can do that. And to have compassion. We don't know everybody's story, but we know everybody needs love. And that's really what it comes down to. I once was lost. With the support of lawmakers here and new leadership in Washington, Heinecker says she trusts that the country is on the right track. I do feel hope that we have people on our side. I have people that are asking the right questions and listening to us. During his speech, Governor Sam Brownback said that Kansas is the most pro-life state in the country. He says he's signed 17 pro-life bills into law in his two terms and promised to continue to fight for that moving forward. Live from the State House, James Ryan, KSNT News. Thank you, James. The Kansas Supreme Court is set to hear arguments over one of Brownback's pro-life laws. The 2015 bill banned an abortion procedure used in the second trimester. That case is set to begin on March 16th.